right, here is our lab for the acidity of beverages. This is our interactivity. And we're dropping the base in AOH and acetic acid with bromothymol blue. That was one mil. And there wasn't a significant color change. And I believe it's supposed to change to. Ready? Yeah. There, oop, oh. two mils, and it goes to blue. Yeah, that only that took two mils. Now we're gonna move on to phenolphthalein in acetic acid, and we're gonna put in one mil. See if there's a color change. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh no, it disappeared. So I don't so think we're that gonna counts. stir it. So then we're gonna add another mil because. We're going to add another mill of an AOH. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I got too much. Here's Plano measuring out some. I know you haven't seen Plano's beautiful face Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. She's been filming. She has good hair today. Yeah. Also an allergic reaction. Do you want Wait, look at it. Oh, yeah. All right, so it took two mils of phenolphthalein to change to pink. So now it's hot pink. I think you should record the color changes as well. Mm -hmm. So try and get strong. Third milliliter bromothymol blue. Wait, hold on, let's see if it settles. Um, it just got lighter. So. Okay, then back to Yeah, it's the same. Now we're gonna do our third for um. Phenol oh, yeah, what does this change to? Is that what it's called? Uh, mm -hmm. Doesn't go away. Almost red. So if I ever get a fish tank, I want to put phenolphthalein in it. Right. <laughs> so not <laughs> that changed to a darker pink, I think. Yeah. Just that darker. Next, we're going to add three to thymol, the one that looks like an awfully dehydrated person. Alright, so it turned kind of blue, but then it just disappeared. Nicole, are you wearing goggles? Yes, yeah. She just had an itch. All right. Second milliliter. I think it'll stay blue. It's more of a purple, to be honest. It is like an indigo or like a purple. It's kind what of do you think? bad through the camera, but it looks purple on the outside. Okay. See, like as you get closer, like a, you can... a violet. Yeah, it looks violet or kind of kind of lavendery. Oh, I like that color. Let's go with lavender. All right, now we're gonna do our third milliliter. I like these colors. And it just stayed the same. Yep, it just got lighter. Just change concentration. All right, so now we're gonna do the hydrochloric acid ones, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just going to add the sodium hydroxide to the hydrochloric acid, just like we did with the acetic acid. But now this, this one's a strong acid, so we want to look, compare the difference between them. All right, so one milliliter, no change. Wow. Two milliliters. They went light change oh, for a second. But after we stir, no more blue. Okay. It's kind of tinted blue. Well, only if you squint. No, it's not. Okay. It all disappeared. Oh, and that's the eye. So you're only doing the Stephanie's asking Three milliliters. Definitely blue. We see more change. And even after you stir, it's, it's the color stays. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to add to the phenophthalein. Phenop phenop Wait, did it get darker blue or lighter blue? It got lighter blue. Okay. Yes, you do for the hydrochloric acid. You've done it with the acetic acid, right? Because the weak acid. Now you're going to repeat the whole process with the strong acid and just see the difference. Okay. Are we gonna do it again? Yes, with a strong acid. Strong acid. Right now. Quickly. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the pink all disappeared. So now we're going to we're gonna have to take a pause and get more um, sodium hydroxide. Third drop in this one. Into phenolphthalein.
Sorry. Ooh. So, this one gets really one. dark, which confuses me. It wasn't. You just had two. One drop. Yeah. Same. Uh, it just got lighter. It's the same color, though. It started off pink. Yeah. Did you write it started off pink? Mm hmm. Okay. No, we're right. You're right. You said to add one millimeter. One. Two drops. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Did you see that? Two yeah. drops. It's turned kind of blue and then just. Oh, it's a really faint blue. I'm so confused. Yes, what about some white behind this? There's like a. One. Right. It's not actually mixed in, mixing yet. Yeah, but oh, there it goes. You want me to add another it's, one? The blue's dispersing through. I think it's staying blue though. Yeah, it is staying blue. It's just. Alright, okay, that's so new. So we went from pink to pink to blue. Oh, it stayed pink. And then with our last milliliter. I still need a color. Uh, it kind of got more it, purple. Yeah, it went a little bit purple like the other like this thymol blue. Now do I keep adding this? This, we were the first ones done. Oh. This is the You're never the first ones done. Okay, so that was our intro activity. Now we'll clean up and we can pour this down the sink because it's a neutralization reaction. Yay! Now we need sodium hydroxide. No. It's so pretty. Alright, so in this beaker we have 20 milliliters of white grape juice, mm -hmm. 7 drops of phenothalian, and 30, about 30 milliliters of deionized water. So what we're going to do is in the barrette we have we do. Like, look at that. We do. What, 26? 26 milliliters of sodium hydroxide and we're going to drop one at a time into the yeah, I'll, I'll pour it. Um, high, the whatever that's at the bottom. I can make it work. Tight. Analyte. Analyte. Ha -ha. Okay. So after each drop we're going to measure the pH in our lovely chart. And then and we have our nice pH meter right here. Yeah. That way we can record the pH of the analyte when it is neutralized. When it changes color. Yes. I think that covers everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Hit the middle couple. Well, video all the couples. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. So the original was 4.47. Did you write that down? Yes. Oh, okay. So we're going to add one milliliter. Maybe. Is it recording? No. Should I, was I supposed to unpress all? No. What? No. no. I was just asking. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you want to stir, but it's still dropping. Oh, there went down. You can tell our little thing is still dropping, so we're waiting. Is this recording? Mm -hmm. okay. But as you can tell, it turns a very faint pink each time a drop enters. Why did you go down? And now we're going to stir and what if it check the pH. What if the... Do you push hold? Yeah, I just unpressed hold. Yeah, it went down one time. Okay. So 4.33. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's really, they're meant to be okay. stirred so the whole time with a magnetic stir, which we After one drop, so, it went to 4.33. You know, it's by hearts, where there's All right, just, you just, you have All right. To it shouldn't have gone down. But that was what and our recorded thing sure is, so I'll press hold again. First. So now we're checking to see if the color of the OJ from the original to what we're titrating is any different to see if we want to see if there's a base in it yet, but it doesn't seem to look like th there's any <laughs> difference. I mean, it is a little diluted with the water, but it looks all, remember, guys, pretty much all right. All right, cool. So you're going the whole way up, like you're going to try yeah. and get kind of Rana is recording the pH of our solution with nine drops. This is exciting because our pH meter broke or is not available for use. We are now using pH strips for each milliliter. Okay, so for 18, we but have to use 40 seven. milliliters. That was Rod milliliter eight. number nine. Stay positive, team. We just had a really steep change using on our 13th milliliter of base, and it's kind of tinted. I don't know, but look at that. That is 
definitely closer to the seven than previously before. All right, now we're going to add another millimeter of sodium hydroxide. Isn't that what I said? No, you said the other word. The other word? Not meter. So as we could, oh, yep, we've turned like a really deep, pretty pink. Yeah, so the millimeter, milliliter before was definitely in our color change. So this, now it's more obvious. Now the pH is past eight. I would say it's around eight. It's about eight now. Did that drop off? You're done, but you're going to get to that, right? Maybe we forgot yeah. to change Look, it's purple. Did you get that? It's, it's like, what? For what? 24. Except we, this is our 14th drop. Well, I tell you what, why don't you go Bro, now ours didn't start until ours is 12. Look at ours. There. And you look at What's ours? And what I said to them was, <laughs> yeah, for legit. <laughs> oh, not anywhere near. It's a paper. Yeah. Look. Okay, like that. That's not my shoes. Okay. The Why is this so exciting? Because it finally I'm right over. Because they're using pH like strips. Now. You know it would be cool if you graphed it? Well, what they did was well, the pH well, we're going to graph it. I think yeah, but it's cooler to graph it as a tab. That way you can add more excitement to your We get colors, Amir. Do you have colors? Yeah, it's called the solution itself. I would have a first one called 7.3. All right. Second one. And everything. Yeah, you have to work out. Well, you have any problems right now. And you have to work out the equivalence point. Now, I don't know if you know how to work it that way. Is this your sodium? Uh, no. uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so, but you can do it the old fashioned way, but you need to have a graph. Do you want to drop it on Excel? Yes. Like yeah, I think there was a dropper. We have it. So if you look closely, we can definitely tell that there has been a major color change compared to the original orange. Now we're at a slight grapefruit. And we still have quite a lot of titrant to go through. And just an example of testing the pH, we are at 9.3, six and a half, I would say. Yeah, look at so sweet. That's a good. And you have to make sure that you put it all the way in and stir quite frequently. Yeah, just for some reason I thought we had to yeah. It's so beautiful. Okay. It's actually way prettier. Okay, so now I finished our titration and we got all the way up to an 11 on the scale. Yeah, you can see here. You good? Okay. Done.